Hey, diddle diddle hallo everybody, it's Vocab Hawk. Welcome back to Pikmin 2. The Awakening Wood. Dude, it's weird. And yeah, you can like take one look at the level and be like, wow, they are way bigger than they used to be. Alright. And he's, he's gonna tell us the purples are in the boat. Good morning. It should please you to know that the purple Pikmin are lodged safely in my hole. The confines of my interior seem to suit them perfectly, though they do occasionally tickle me. Standing in, stand in the ring of light and press A to call purple Pikmin out. Okay, well we're not going to worry about that just yet, even though he's going to do it. Now we'll take him. Whatever. Why do I hear like a laser beam? Let's we'll get everybody out. Now while I'm doing this real quick, is there a button? No, okay. What happened? I took one step. Let me play the game, please. Louis has all more instructed you on the peculiarities of Pikmin creatures. The Pikmin form groups based on color when disbanded with X. Grabbing Pikmin with A will also cause them to group by colors. Now for the bonus lesson. Okay, this is what I want. After grabbing a Pikmin with A, you can press left or right to swap. Okay. I don't know if you could do that in Pikmin 1. Apparently you can. So that's how you do it. I, I know I did try it. So if I hit A. Yep, that's it. Oh, I did. They're both gonna. I'm gonna show you the. I'm hopefully about to show you the power, the, the raw power of the purple Pikmin. Didn't stand a chance in hell. And then can I just grab that? Yes, they can. Good deal. So, they're all going to take that back to the red one, for those of you not in the map. Take them. I think there's another patch of them, like, here? If they're not... You little fucker. Well, yeah, we're about to learn about. F oh, we filled it up. That works. One more wave problem. The onion, the onion has ceased. Is it malfunctioning? Interesting. It now seems the number of life forms within all of our, or the onion has increased. Did you note that no more than 100 Pikmin will venture on the plant surface at once? But I can currently only observe 95. Could it be wild Pikmin somewhere? That is exactly what it is. And we're also going to get the flower cutscene. Lots of cutscenes. This pigment that drank the yellow nectar and suddenly matured into a flower pigment. It appears to have enhanced motor skills. What a wondrous nectar. How intriguing. Like plants pigment mature from leaf to flower to whatever. Captain Olimar, you must share this information with your subordinate Louie. You're telling him right now. Alright, yeah, come on. Oh yeah, come on. Now we'll have the treasure. I was like, god damn. Don't give me a cutscene for one minute. That is worth so much for such an easy treasure sunseed berry. And 10% of the death repaired. Yeah, so the the race the guy does is it's a, a speed run for So let's get them started and then swap. Because we can do that. Oh, I'm gonna start blocking. Also, it might just be my imagination, but I feel like he plucks way faster in this one. You can fact check me on that, but it certainly feels like it. I'm gonna give me this purple. Purples we really don't want to lose to sunset. We're gonna go ahead and just start having them do that. Start having y'all do that. So these are berries, and they they also break the game.
But what they'll do is they'll just beat on these berries, and they'll start to fall. And uh, what you'll end up doing is when they uh, when they knock all of them down, that's when uh, they'll start taking them. And it's a pigment per berry. But you want to get these when you can. There's a lot of stuff that messes them up. All right, see, like now they're all just kind of. And they're very good. They're a good resource. So, you know, don't. Are they done with it? Is there one more? There's one more. Okay. And there's a couple enemies over here. I think these are the spicy berries. There's two kinds of berries. Shiv's like, what the fuck is this? Astounding, this red berry contains an ultra spicy essence. It doesn't appear to have any monetary value, but I shall research potential uses for it. Bring me another specimen. I think it takes... It doesn't take 10. It does take some. Yeah, I'm so familiar with this little, like, patch of land. It's crazy. Oh, why am I having you guys not do anything? Why? Okay, there, you've got two berries now. So it's every two he can make the juice. Captain, all my research on the red berries you discovered is either a powerful potion. Behold the ultra spicy spray. Although it is untested, I believe it'll have spectacular results. Spray it on all your Pikmin by pressing down on the control pad or the D-pad. So one bottle for ten berries. Okay, good deal. Now I gotta spam A because I was fighting someone. Yeah, those guys are pretty uh, tame. Probably the best word to describe it. Now this next guy is not, which is right here. All right, so there he goes. Uh, what do we need to get through here? 200. So we need more purples to do that. Did one of them miss? Is that a Pikmin behind that flower? I think it is. I would like to keep my purples. And I think this is for yellows, right? Yeah, I can't get them high enough to get that. It's good. Oh, actually, we have another batch of berries, huh? Oh, come on, guys. Right, there they go. They can start working on that. I'm going to take the rest of the dregs. We can't do that, so we got to go this way. Yeah, that is a problem. Okay, come here. So we got another cave. Biological senses are reacting violently. The readings are omnivorous. A beast of unknown power lurks in these depths. A large Pikmin group would be reassuring. My sound sensors are picking up hostile roars of many beasts. Expect dangerous encounters. Sensors are also showing extreme, so bring flame resistant Pikmin. But my records indicate no such data. Are my records incomplete? Those records don't know about flame resistant Pikmin? What the fuck is he talking about? And then we can't clear out that because it has the poison. What is this corner? What is this? Why is this here? That was an evil sound. Alright, well what I'll do... We'll ditch all of them. And we'll do that cave today. Because we're really... I guess it is more of a tutorial day three than I remember. Did y'all even get it? Oh, y'all are still beating on it. Alright, that's fair. Oh, they're bursting! What are y'all doing? Yeah, so they'll also... They're not the smartest, so they'll like keep climbing up there even when there's nothing to eat. So let them get all that. And then... And also, just for those wondering, you can't double dip, like you can't put more on it than you need. I don't know. These are the female shearers, so I don't think they can eat our Pikmin. Alright, we 
barrel like that. Get it out of here. Right, there you go. I think we'll have really done. I hear some. I'll let them do it, because they won't drink it. Now we've got all these leaves. Come on, Leon. Yeah, there's some. We'll wait. Get plenty. And I mean plenty of reds to sacrifice later. Oh man, look at all that. Alright, ready? And drink. I kind of want to come back with, oh my god, one. One didn't get it. Oh, this is what it is. However, we'll worry about it later. I did not remember them growing back that fast. Come on, little guy. So if I'm remembering right, I think we got to get whites, and then to get, we got everybody? Yeah, we got everybody. All right, let's go. So you can see here, there's the four hazards at the top. They're kind of grayed out, but what it's saying is there's a fire hazard, there's not water, there's not electricity, and there's not poison. Those are our four hazard types for this game. What's this, the Den of Beasts, I think? I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Hole of Beasts, okay. There might, there might be a Den of Beasts later. I can't remember. Nothing in that corner. Looks like that's the way. I honestly wish you could just grow them. So, there's a couple things we're going to learn about. That, well, that you need to know about in caves. And the first is random bombs, which are bad. So bomb rocks are kind of back. They just sort of fall from the sky, and uh, it's kind of on you on how you're going to deal with that. Okay, these, these are male sugars. They can't get them. They're them. So there's gonna be a treasure somewhere. Oh, oops. So, in case you're wondering, like, is it worth it to get all the beasts? I think the answer is actually not really. Uh, but the reason we do it is it'll speed us up to getting to the 10,000, however much. So basically, for every like 50 or so beasts we kill, we basically got a treasure. I'm gonna get the rest of them. I don't actually think I have to, but I'm gonna go get them. Cause I don't remember and I don't wanna mess it up. Stone of Glory. Okay, that was the only treasure here. Wait, why is Louis still hurt? Is he still hurt from like the other day? Hmm. Where are Maybe I got him hurt today. Maybe if he got hurt by something and I didn't notice. I don't know. Or maybe because it forced the day to end. It didn't actually treat it like a day ending. You're uh, so your cabins can go down. But when they do, uh, what is that? Oh, nothing apparently. Me being crazy. Hoping all the purples get in. Also, a lovely little thing, if you can tell, the purples have purple flowers. Nothing in this corner. Nothing in this corner. And things will fall out of the sky. Not just, like, enemies will fall out of the sky. 
So we got more purple flowers. Let's explore a little bit before we deal with that. I'd love to get the, the flowers. Or not the flowers, the, the leaves. But the game, I believe, prioritizes your flowers. But you can change it though, that's what I just did. So we only wasted five flowers. So the purples do completely dominate. Where red used to be the combat Pikmin, no longer the case. Everybody who can, especially the purples. All right. Dude, I was like, how do we lose one? Just real quick. So there were just no treasures. This was just a. I didn't. I should have listened. I think when there's no treasures, or you know what it might be, you might have to come back and redo this one with white Pikmin. Because one thing you're gonna learn about, which is very unfortunate, is buried treasure. And the only way to get it is to have white Pikmin, because that's their thing. They have poisonous blood. They're immune to poison, and they can see like infrared, so they can see underground. They're gonna say all this again when I find it. But I think they're at the bottom of this cave, because otherwise we have nowhere to go. So the annoying thing is if you ever fuck up and you run out of purples or whites, you basically have to go to caves to get more. Which is not great. Okay, so you got fire stuff. Um, what you're gonna learn is unlike the first game, you can just kill fire things. Which actually means for things like this, you don't even have to have reds at all. Because, uh... You like hypothetically, you could just time it. Oh, oops! I walked in fire. Well, the rope's not gonna yell at me that fire's bad. All right, nothing there. And you can also just throw them. They'll, they'll know to attack it. I like how it's like this is a den of beasts, and then there's actually like not that much stuff in it. Strife Monolith. And then, yeah, there's the... The thing. But it's funny, because you'd be like, oh, well, if I put a bunch of purples on it, it'll go super fast, right? Because it'll be like 100 out of... out of 15. So just shoot, but I was like, nope, doesn't work like that. And we have a safe disc. It's a Nintendo. I can't even read what game it's supposed to be, but it's the Cosmic Archive. Right, that's it for this floor. So you might not have to redo this one. I'm not sure. I don't know if there's buried treasure on that second floor or not. But I don't think you can leave Pikmin behind on the floors. I think wherever they are, they'll just get pulled to you. And I'll also say this, right now, these are like the easy dungeons. The later game, the dungeons are so difficult. <laughs> it is ridiculous how bad they can get. But that was supposed to be our introduction to fire. He doesn't stand a chance. He's done. Do any of you guys want to...
Yeah, so treasures can also be inside of enemies. Yeah, go figure. Just like the first game with parts. Any y'all want to get that? Thank you. Okay, poor little GameCube. It's running as hard as it can. It's the luck wafer. Okay, and that's it for the stage. Well, what else is here, though? Flower. But purples are a very valuable resource and it's always worth it. Basically whenever you see a purple or a white uh, candy pop, unless it would, you know, cost you everything. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Yep. There's Dale, the warning for they're on fire. Emergency Pikmin are suffering. If you blow your whistle with B, you may be able to help them. And that's it. The, the whistle has been made very strong. So what do we have? Just one, one measly purple. There's also we haven't gotten it yet. So I think it's just that guy. Okay, now everybody's a flower. We have a pretty strong army. Strong. But there's every now and then you'll pop an egg, and these like night crawler things just shoot out, and all it does is make your Pikmin scatter to the four winds. Is pretty funny, but also very annoying. The later dungeons just get really fucking annoying. This looks like it could be our final form. Something just roared. Ah, the Queen Bulborg. Where's her face? Because that's where we want to be. Where's her face? There's her face. Okay, so right back here. So basically we want to get here because what's going to happen? Oh wait, no, this is not what we want to do. Oh, they're all dead. Yep, they're just dying. And that was all my purples. Ooh, am I about to reset that? I think I am. I'm going to reset that. Let's reset that real quick. With a simple tap of this button. Yeah, that was a goof. Okay, just saved. And my recommendation to you, uh, save scum the shit out of this game because it's not fair. Okay, so basically I need to just stand where, uh, where I was. And not have all of my purples get instantly flatlined. Let's try that again, shall we? Let's see if I can do better. But see, how, see how nice that is? There she goes. Hey, wake up. The first thing she should do is roll, right? No, no. Who's hitting her? I don't even see it. He's in there somewhere. He got God, but... I don't know if a pigment's ever done that much work. Nope. I don't even know where they're get I guess they're getting under somehow. 
the way for her to come back. Okay, I see what's happening to him. You gonna roll? Did one just die? So I chose to fight her from the worst side, where your whole army can die for the low, low price of nothing. Like that one is like, wait a minute, what? Like she's just she's so calm. She's like, whatever you're ready. Come on back, everybody. That one, nice down. Yeah, for a boss fight for me, this is not bad. You know, we're gonna lose a couple more. Ooh, it's 12. lose any purples it's okay I can lose reds the love tester how bizarre this device is emitting black light it must have been ingested by that creature what an absolutely repulsive life form our return to Hakutate cannot come soon enough Hokotate I don't know how you say it Hobbit, Hobbit. I thought this was where we were gonna get whites which means I've missed a dungeon somewhere because that's where they are Come on, guys, hurry the fuck up. But this is nice. The treasure tracker is very, very helpful. There's a much harder version of her fight later where she spawns these little, like, demon babies. You, got, you gotta go through this, like, long tunnel of them. Anyway. This contraption seems to react when I purchase treasure. I will connect it to my radar. It will now appear in your monitor. The needle will move right as you approach the treasure. We have it now, and you can now see what it'll do. Is it'll turn gray when we uh, we'll do that. When we've done everything. So let's get the fuck out of here. We lost some men, but it's Pikmin, and you're always gonna lose some men. As long as you don't lose purples, you're doing okay. But losing purples and whites is unacceptable because they're just so. It's so much effort to get them back. I think I lost 12, 13. Well, the cave complete. But you can see... Or did we get the flag? Okay, we did. So there weren't any on that floor. I just didn't hear the sound. But I love it. It's called, like, the Cave of Beasts. And then you get in there, and there's, like, three enemies. But her harder version is worse. Oh, and I forgot to tell you. So I was telling there was three new types of Pikmin. One of them you never get to keep, and you never get to grow. And they're called Bold Men. Don't end the day. Don't make me end the day for that. I don't think it will. I think not I'm good. Yeah. But that's 20% of the debt recovered. Can I get my boys? Thank you. Gotta start regrowing the reds. There you go. And you've probably noticed, you're probably thinking like, wow, stuff grows back really quickly. It does. Oh, I'll take it. Oh, she must have burrowed or something. Oh, the camera's fucking wild on there. Yeah, we'll, we'll bring the numbers back up. Let's go ahead. Maybe I'll pluck all this up. And they took that instead of... So, okay, so where is it telling me this treasure? Oh, Lord, look who it is. Get over here. How am I not hitting him? There he goes. He's just 
Coming for a ride. Okay, that's another thing they can drop. They can drop uh, the berry juice. Ding! This red liquid you see, it is one drop, one dose. And you can actually, I've seen people cheese it. If you can get both captains to like press into it at the same time, you can actually get two stacks of the juice. After all that, no one even took the one fucking pellet. Get all y'all. Okay, that must be buried. Because I'm not seeing anything to indicate otherwise. Let y'all do that. Let's pluck these. Uh, let's pluck these guys, not let's let roll them. And also because you have two captains, you also pluck twice as quick. Oh, oh, we're at cap again. Good, 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 good. All right, let's have these guys get over right here and then just as many flowers as we can get. The game gives you a lot more opportunities to drink sap, so you should take them because the game's going to ask a lot more of you than it asked of you in Pikmin 1. All right, let's go. Everybody should be a flower now. We have 95 out of 95. I want to get that bag deflated. Yeah, the game is wonky. If, if people don't take that, go ahead and go ahead and take that back to the ship. We're not going to put these guys on this duty because I don't have the most faith they'll get it done in time. But I think we can knock this down now. Yeah, we'll be able to knock this down. In a minute. I might actually throw the purples. This is why you have to do that cave, and why I didn't want all of my purples to die. Because they are needed to progress. So here's another cave. And this is the cheese you can do. As long as we can get in there before the day's over, everything's fine. Which means this whole episode might just be one day. And it probably will be. So let's take a look at her. Fire and poison. Yeah, it's the white flower garden, guys. So we're gonna do that. Let's talk to Lily real quick. So that's another thing. As long as one of your captains has the guys, you're okay. Like for uh, the, the night stuff, you'll be alright. Yeah, I should be able to get there and back. Get these guys. Let's go ahead, help these dudes out. Just gotta make up for the lost numbers. Let's go, guys. Turn her back. Yeah, so I don't know how the dungeons are always gonna play out. My goal will be, videos can be like max an hour, so the aim will always be for 40-ish minutes, like this one's going to be long, but that's so nice when they're fast. Okay, good. I got us back in the positives too. Well, I mean, when we hit the cap, we were already back in the positives. We need yellows to get that, so let's just keep going. I could send a guy back with that, but I'm not going to. And we can just say, yep, and go straight in. That they can't stop us. And there's no time limit. And since you always land back in the uh back at camp, even if it is the countdown, doesn't matter, because all your Pikmin will be there. Yeah. And this one might not even be much of a dungeon, I don't remember. I feel like it really is just to grow white Pikmin. We will not be turning our purples into white Pikmin. Never do that. What you have to come to understand is just... What's the phrase? It's like robbing Peter to... Or borrowing from Peter to pay Paul? It's something like that. Oh, that one came out of nowhere, huh?
But never be afraid to do the reset button because I feel like the fact they gave all those saves is sort of your hint that you didn't need to necessarily do all that. Or, you know. The fact they gave all those saves was their hint that like every now and then you don't really need to worry about resetting because they, I think they fully intended for you to. Come on, guys, it's, it's hustle. But, as I was saying, the plan will be for videos to be like 40 minutes, an hour, something like that. Um, so if I'm in a dungeon and it's just going long, it'll depend on how far in I am, honestly. There might be something to get really long, but I will say, I think no matter what, I'm going to stick with this three videos a week schedule and just record longer videos. Because the views have, like, skyrocketed in my opinion. I think it's because, I think when you upload every day, the algorithm doesn't like that. They'd rather you do a couple big videos versus a lot of smaller ones. Or if, if you're gonna do that, I'd rather you just do shorts. Then you know, like the, the real deal. This one might be super short. This one might be like, we go here and it's the flower garden and then we're just done. But nope, don't look like it. What is, that's the, the GameCube fan is so loud. Okay, we gotta be careful. Cause I, I see the writing on the wall. What is in this corner? Did we not lose one over the cliff? No, we didn't. Wow. Yes, the fiery blue hogs are back. There's actually, I think there's, how many blue hogs are there? I think there's three types of blue hogs. I really thought we lost a purple over the edge though. You have to see the replay on that one to know how we didn't. Petrified heart. And then just some chump change. But like, uh, I didn't know this, I learned it later, but for like things falling out of the sky in this game, there's like invisible traps and they require you to do certain things. Like on the higher levels, which I'll always usually do, the drought ender. Okay, that's it there. What you'll end up doing is usually before you even get your Pikmin, you'll just send one of your captains to run through and trigger everything you can so that your Pikmin aren't there when it happens. But some of them require you to walk past like the trigger point and have a certain number of Pikmin with you or it won't start yet. Which again, evil. A toasty GameCube air. But I don't think this one has a boss. I might be wrong. Oh, I thought that guy was... Where are you going? Okay, let's go boom boom. Okay, there's our white flowers. So we're going to prioritize turning that like one leaf into a white Pikmin. How can a flower so deep underground bloom so robustly? How mysterious. This place is conspicuously warm. Could it act as a kind of hothouse for foliage? What an interesting development. The Pikmin look as if they long to be tossed into that flower. It's like, mm, I don't know about that one. What do I do to get that one leaf? Okay, well, I don't want to risk tossing the problem, so real quick, let's just do this. There they go. And 
we now have the white Pikmin. You are creepy as fuck. Pulling out disgusting braps. Incredible, a white Pikmin. It is tiny but looks distinctly swift. Its eyes are an unseemly red. This type of Pikmin was not mentioned in your notes, and you tie it, what a shocker. Our data record on this type is a blank page since a certain cabin never documented them. You must experiment and blah blah blah. So also whites are, they are the fastest and they are the weakest. And also, look at the, uh, look at the distance on that pick. They did a much better job on that too. You end up usually throwing away a lot less Pikmin trying to pick other Pikmin. Take the purple back too. Let me guess, where is this thing? Right here. Yeah. So if you walk them over, they'll just dig it out. And that one purple is flipping out. Amazing, the white Pikmin have unearthed a treasure that was completely buried in the ground. Perhaps those bee red eyes are there to allow them to see objects buried in the dirt. And once they get it out, then you can sick the troops on it and do whatever you want. That's a, one very big reason why it's good to go ahead and get the treasure tracker. There's a honey thing somewhere. I hear it. There it is. Right line. Wait, no, it's back. Yep. That'll be good. Leave you here. Which way is the entrance? So, if I remember why a white Pikmin leaf is as fast as a, uh, a normal Pikmin with a flower, it might be a bud. Super stick textile. Okay, that's the only treasure here. We love to see it because that means we're done with the bullshit. Alright, the whites. Yeah, they're also purple. Let's see, do we have any flowers left now? No, doesn't look like it. Who's the exit for this one? I guess it's this one. <laughs> then the other thing white Pikmin do is if they are consumed, they instantly deal damage as poison. I remember as a kid I really liked the white Pikmin. I thought they looked like Invader Zim. Also, why is my phone in my lap and not just in the phone spot? Ay, ay, ay. Keep coming on. And then I imagine this is the final floor. Or there might be one more. It depends. Well, I mean, it either does or it doesn't. This gets not. Okay, so that's a poison hazard. So. So poison is a bit worse than fire. Um, because you can see, like, unlike the, um... What's it called? I feel like there's gonna be grubs. I'm really more interested in enemies than the poison. Did we already have Pikmin get poisoned? I don't feel like we did. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, I'll get that. I did find out watching someone else's videos that what you can actually do is if you throw a Pikmin into poison and it and then save it with the whistle, it actually has a few frames where it's immune to the poison and you can so you can technically destroy them with a uh, with non-white Pikmin. 
However, poison walls, you cannot. Because the... You basically have to throw it on top of them to get to hit them at all. The toxic toad stew. What are we at? We're at 45 minutes. Yeah, long videos this week. Oh, and I got to start. I was going to say earlier, I don't know how committed I'm going to be to the Pikmin bit. Like, I might get to the 10,000 and then do another Let's Play and then come back for the, the extra. I'm not sure yet. Because I really do want to see how well Pikmin 1 did before I really commit, because this is a long game, I think. Alright, so that was it for this floor. We got 95 dudes. That's the real reason we got to save the other group of Pikmin, is so that we can have 100. That extra 5 difference in life and death. Alright, down we go. So I'd imagine the next floor is the last one, just because... Usually the later ones are the ones that go on long. I think the longest one of the game is 12 floors. I think the final one is either 12 or 15. White flower garden. Oh, and that's another thing. Yeah, this is the perfect one. So what we got? Usually it's some kind of a boss battle. Oh yeah, it's a snagret. Probably. We'll just say, let's just find out. What you got? out for me okay this is how we heal this item right here as all the Pikmin flip the fuck out well done Ken you defeated that freakish half bird half serpent hybrid oh no don't tell me that treasure was ingested by that beast wasn't it I mean there's a treasure in the other one too so I don't get why we care now I think there's only one yeah there's only one there's not enough room for a second one but you'll notice that's a reoccurring trend in Pikmin. Uh, we can break these eggs. Let's go ahead and... Let's see if we get the monster things. Nope, we didn't. About to say... There might be a couple more who lost their flowers from getting shooken off by the Snagret, but the fact that it only ate reds is actually pretty miraculous. I think I see some leaves flopping around in there. The five-man knapsack. This material looks comfortable. I will use it to patch the boss's favorite sleeping bag. Seam test conclusive. Cross stitching successful. The knapsack is complete. When you have an unoccupied time interval, present hold X to take a nap. So that is how our captains will heal. Uh, so like, if we go to Louie right now, then didn't say press X. They'll actually carry you back too. Boom boom. But it did heal you actually. Yeah, and you'll just bounce off. Right, come on, all y'all little ragamuffins. It's just the one. There's one little red that didn't get it. I think those are the only Pikmin we lost. We lost six. That's not bad. That's way better than I was doing in freaking Pikmin 1. Give me a little guy. Give me your fill. Alright. Now we're all flyers again. Huzzah! That was the only treasure. So for the most part, you'll find that that's how it goes. Just, uh, so let's get out of here. Yes. But I mean, this will, yeah, 50 minute video. We did one day. So that's kind of why they didn't do the day thing. Cause it was like, all you're gonna do is bum rush the dungeons, aren't you? Okay, complete. So we don't have to come back unless we need more white Pikmin. Cause this is probably the best place to grow them, I think. I don't know that. I don't know. When we're in caves, if something happens, like all the whites or all the purples, I will be that guy. I will easily, I already reset once to do it. And it's like the end of the day, isn't it?
Oh my Louie, the sun will be setting soon. Call all your Pikmin to you. This plant's native nocturnal life forms are ferocious and therefore dangerous. Load your Pikmin into the onion and yourselves into my hole so we can take refuge and we'll flow over it. Pikmin and your squad will enter the onion on their own at day's end. So call them all to you. Is it doing the countdown? I will go ahead. Let's just put up. Yes, yeah, so you gotta pick it. Maybe I shouldn't have done that so that it was picking wood. There, bring that back. Alright, you two clowns. There's no point in growing these guys if y'all just die. It sounded like an iridescent flint beetle somewhere over there. So let's just go ahead. Put these puppies up. Put them up too, I guess. I think this actually, we just grew back exactly what we lost in there. Other than the fact that we turned some into white Pikmin. I don't know. I think we did pretty good. See, and like every time you go into a cave, the game's just like, get that shit out of <laughs> Motherfuckers. Alright, good god, that was a long episode. What time is it here now? 2.30? Okay. And what eats Pikmin on this one? Just bulb orbs? I like how we just shoot right past them. Today's report. Made hella dollar bills, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Made some scratch. And then if we go to Z, they've all been, yeah, they're all dead to battle. And then a letter from Le Presidente. How's progress, Almar? Remember, you'll never get anything done if you sit back and watch from afar. Be sure to hold R occasionally for a close-up view of the action. All right. So that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. I'm going to record one more in this recording session so I keep my uh, how far ahead I am because I'm about to be out of town and I won't be able to record next weekend. So thank you all for watching. I'm Vocab Hawk, and I hope you have a great day. Bye, everybody.